Most of us had cracked ribs, struggling from not some sort of blow, but just because of, of, of all the heavy breathing. Like sitting in your tent, putting your boots on, you're like <sighs> You breathe like that day after day, hour after hour, your intercostal muscles begin to fatigue. Then the air is so dry, you start to have these violent coughing fits, so violent that you can actually crack a rib. I mean, it's ridiculous, true? I went into our climbing leader's tent one day and I tell him my story, how hard I'd been working, how hard I'd been carrying loads for the team, how the, the cold and the wind in my ribs. And I said, they're crack, I can't carry any more for you. He didn't say a word to me. He reached into his backpack and threw me some duct tape. I took the duct tape. I'm like, oh, that's way lighter than the load they wanted me to carry. Do you want me to take the, do they need duct? I got this duct tape up the mountain. I was excited, a pound of duct tape, better than 35 pounds of fuel. <laughs> I got it, and off I go. And he yells at me, no. Jamie, moron, they don't need duct tape up on the mountain. They need fuel. You need the duct tape. Go in your tent, take your clothes off, wrap the duct tape around your chest, splint your ribs, and then go carry the load. Oh. That's not what I was looking for. I was figuring, hey, you know what? It's Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Our team is taxed. Customer service team's just off the hook. We got half the team who's come out of the warehouse and elsewhere to, to do backup. The team's going down. What are we going to do? I wanted my leader to say to me, Jamie, you've done a hell of a job. You should probably go down to the spa and base camp, put your feet up. Looks like you've worked harder than anybody else. There's a big bonus in your future. And I'm like, yeah, you got that right. That's what I was thinking was going to come. But it's just like that, the morning of Cyber Monday, after what's craziness leading up into Black Friday, which is no longer a day, it's a week. If we're not careful, it'll turn into a month and a year. It's crazy. People are beaten up, but it's at that point that our character is forged anew. It's at that point that I'll sit with the customer service reps and go, yeah, you know what? Everybody's taxed. Everybody right now in this economy in North America is taxed. If we can somehow find it in our energy and in our voice and in our notes and in our communication to just dig a little deeper like it's the first call you've done, not the 700th in the last two days that preceded a crazy week. If we can just find that one place with that one customer that we need to help who's really struggling with some purchase they need or a problem they've had that could be for a birthday or could be for a gift or it could mean for them that jacket that we're going to sell them. That jacket for them is not a jacket. That jacket for them is a symbol of a commitment they've made to improve their health because they're not going to stay inside when the weather gets cold. They've decided they're going to get off their bus en route to work three stops early and walk to work and they need that jacket because they know they have to control their weight and boost their metabolism and they know their life depends upon it and they want to do it for their kids. Now, I'm getting melodramatic but it's desperate times. And that's what this jacket is. This jacket is not a piece of Gore-Tex, wonderfully manufactured, perfectly seam sealed with great zipper position and coloring. This jacket is a symbol of a commitment that this person has made to themselves to improve their life. Let's not forget that. Oh, you're right, okay, back on the phone I go. Silly boss of mine. Hello, customer. You chubby, how are you doing? I'm here to help you. Those moments right then and there when it's the most difficult or the most exciting to me because everybody else is hurting. And when they're hurting, if you can just go a little bit more, you whoosh, take off. You accelerate past the competition. When the tide is rising, everyone's doing it. It's hard to gain customer share. It's hard to win over your customers because everybody's doing a good job. Everyone's in the game. It's those seasons, it's that time when things come unglued that you bring your team around and huddle them up and go, I've been hoping this time would come. It's the most important time of our business. All hell is breaking loose. People are angry and stressed. It's the holiday season. We now are going to win. We now. The sales and marketing team have won these customers for us. We now, in the heart of all this discomfort, at the point where we think we've got nothing left, is where we're going to find another place. We're going to find another place because we're reminded of why we're doing this, and then we're going to go and do it, and we will live and enjoy the spoils of a loyalty that you can't buy. And that's what this is about. That's what this place taught me, is that when your teammates are fatigued and they can't move any farther, that's when you stand up and say, I'm going to carry the load. You give me that. You throw it on your back and you go. And your teammate witnesses that. They see you because courage is contagious. They see you and they're like, oh my God, that is awesome. Okay, give me some other shit to carry. I'm going with you. And by example, people will follow. That's what Everest taught me.